<laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You may sit down. Now you've chosen variation one for today. It's very straightforward. You follow my lead, and at the end, you will be my lead. Is that simple? Got a time lucky? At last. <laughs> Enjoy. On behalf of Ian and Melanie, I'd like to welcome everyone here today to the Auckland Castle Hotel. We're all going to share with you in your wedding ceremony and through your vows, you will be making a commitment with each other. My name is Lindsay. I am an assistant registrar appointed by the Registrar General for Scotland as a person who can solemnise civil marriages in accordance with the Marriage Scotland Act 1977. For you, Ian, and you, Melanie, getting married today is a confirmation of the love, respect, and friendship that you have for each other. You have chosen to affirm your vows in this formal and public pledge and to offer each other the security that comes from legally binding vows, sincerely made, and faithfully kept. Now, before we go any further, I would like you both just to confirm your identities. Are you Ian Graham MacDonald? Yes, I am. Good. Are you Melanie Keane? Yes, I am. Good. We're here today so that I can solemnise your marriage in the presence of your witnesses, Christopher and Hayley, and family and friends, and in accordance with the law of Scotland. And I confirm that the requirements of that law preliminary to your marriage have been satisfied. Before you, Ian, and you, Melanie, are joined in marriage, it is my duty to remind you of the binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage, according to the laws of this country, is a union of two people voluntarily entered into for life to the exclusion of all others. I now require that you make a declaration accepting each other as husband and wife. Can I ask everyone to please stand? Now, the first part of the vows you make to me, because you both tell me that you who you are free to marry, the second part you will make to each other. So I'll start with you, Ian, if you repeat after me. I, Ian Graham MacDonald. I, Ian Graham MacDonald. Solemnly and sincerely declare. Solemnly and sincerely declare. That I know of no legal impediment. That I know of no legal impediment. To my marrying Melanie Keane. To my marrying Melanie Keane. Now you Melanie. I, Melanie Keane. I, Melanie Keane. Solemnly and sincerely declare. Solemnly and sincerely declare. That I know of no legal impediment. That I know of no legal impediment. To my marrying Ian Graham MacDonald. To my marrying Ian Graham MacDonald. Now turn and face each other and hold on hands. <laughs> 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 This time it's to Melanie Ian. Yeah. I Ian accept you, Melanie. I Ian accept you, Melanie. As my lawful wedding <laughs> wife. As my lawful wedding wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From mm -hmm. this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. <laughs> sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To the exclusion of all others. To the exclusion of all others. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both. Well done. Now you, Melanie. I, Melanie, accept you, Ian. I, Melanie, accept you, Ian. As my lawful wedded husband. As my lawful wedded husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. To the exclusion of all others. To the exclusion of all others. For as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. Well done. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You can sit down. Right. We're now going to exchange rings. I think if you stand to the side and just sit with you, stand there. This is the traditional way of sealing the vows you just made. The wedding ring is an unbroken circle and it symbolises an ending of everlasting love. And it's the outward sign of the lifelong promises you've just made to each other. Oh, <laughs> 
To our marriage. Melanie, I give you this ring as a seal to our marriage. Let its constant embrace. Let its constant embrace. Be the symbol of my love for you. Be the symbol of my love to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I am, I give to you. All that I have, I share with you. All that I have, I share with you. I promise to love, cherish, and respect you. I promise to love, cherish, and respect you. And to be faithful and loyal to you today and always. To be faithful and loyal to you today and always. And with this ring, I be wed. And with this ring, I be wed. Perfect fit. My fingers are small. <laughs> <laughs> Ian, I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. Ian, I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. It is my promise that I will love you always. It is my promise that I will love you always. I will be there for you in good times and bad. I will be there for you in good times and bad. And support you in everything you do. And support you in everything you do. And I will be faithful to you for as long as we both shall live. I will be faithful to you for as long as we both shall live. And with this ring, I be wed. And with this ring, I be wed. Ian and Melanie, you have made here today the declarations that are prescribed by law and a solemn and binding contract with each other. You have sealed that contract, the giving and receiving of rings. May you always love, honour and cherish one another. May nothing ever part you and may you have a long and rich life together. And now, by virtue of the declarations made by you both, in my presence and the presence of you, witnesses Christopher, Haley, family and friends, I now pronounce your husband and wife.
Take